Good morning. Good morning. Coffee. Gotta get the coffee. Yeah. Cup of Joe. Cup of Joe. Actually, more like probably two cups of Joe. So, guys, should we go leaded or unleaded this morning? Leaded. Leaded coffee. <laughs> Oh yeah, talking some security today, guys. So it's been about a week or so since I ran her. Think she's gonna start no problem, guys? Let's see what got going on here. Couple pumps.
Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jason with JW Classic VW and welcome back to not exactly the garage. We are outside. We got a break in the rain. It's been raining like crazy down here in Houston, but what are we doing today? We're going to be talking about security for your Volkswagen Beetle and what you could do, the top five things that you can do to kind of protect your baby. So we're going to get right into that content after this intro, guys. See you in a second. do guys we're gonna go over the top five things that I feel can help prevent somebody or slow them down from stealing your car and some of these things you may know some of the things you might not know and we're gonna go to number five first and what is number five number five is a kill switch now a kill switch can be used for killing your fuel or killing power to your engine and let's talk about the simple way to do this first this first switch, guys, isn't necessarily a real mechanical switch. This is more of you doing something simple. And this is something you guys could do right away and disabling your engine or keeping somebody from hot wiring it. So let's move over to the engine and take a look. All right, guys, we are looking at the engine now and right here, your coil. This is the first place that you can easily do something to disable your engine. This is anywhere you go. You come around to the back and just undo the power to your coil. So if anybody gets in your car and tries to hotwire it from the front, they're going to have a really hard time getting away because the engine's not going to start. So you can do this anywhere. One of the keys to this moves us into number four. Number four being the deck lid itself. Right here, guys. Right there. My key. You gotta have a key. So what am I talking about with the deck lid? I'm talking about a locking deck lid, guys. You wanna make sure that you have a locking deck lid and you can buy a different mechanism for the back back here, your, your, uh, your latch, that actually has a key that works. So it's not that expensive and it's cheap insurance. So you pull off your coil power and then you lock your deck lid and guess what? No one can get back there to put power to it. It's a great way to keep your car secure. What they're gonna have to do to get into your deck lid at that point is get a pry bar underneath there and jack it up to get in there. So number four, latch on your deck lid. Let's move into number three, guys, a mechanical switch for your fuel pump. Right over here, underneath my dash, <laughs> don't mind me, guys, I'm having some fun with my new gimbal. You can see a little silver button First off, the first thing you see is my keychain. <laughs> with my awesome little Volkswagen Beetle that my kiddo got me. But right there, underneath the dash, is a little silver button. And that little silver button is used to turn on the fuel pump. Let's see if you guys can hear it. So here's the great thing about a mechanical switch for your fuel pump. You can put that anywhere you want to, underneath your dash, hidden in your glove box. If you have a locking glove box, that'd be a good place, or anywhere on your car, guys. So all you're doing with these switches is you're interrupting the power somewhere. So you cut the power, or honestly, you could cut the ground too, and the switch just provides a mechanical connection between that power and the other side of the power, or that ground and the other side of the ground. So. That's number three. What's number two? Number two. Hmm. Hmm. Number two. Have you guys ever heard of those pedal locks? I'm gonna put it up over here, a little picture for you guys, but I don't have one of those. Maybe I should invest in one. So what you do is this pedal lock goes between your brake and or your clutch, either one because they have like a one pedal lock or a two pedal lock or a full, all your pedals. I think it'll lock out your gas too, but uh, once again, picture here, down in the description below, I'll, I'll link it. <laughs> and it locks out the ability to push down the clutch or push down your brake. So guess what that means? No one's driving your car anywhere. It's not like a steering wheel lock that somebody could just like cut off and take off. I'm sure somebody could get down there and cut it off too. But once again, the whole point of this is to prevent somebody from getting in there and taking off with your car. Let's turn around and sit down in the seat and talk about number two. All right, guys, number two is going to be kind of a, 
a two-parter and something that you guys really pay attention to on your Volkswagen if you got this problem. Over here, you got your vent window, right? There's a vent window lock that you guys can buy that'll lock out right here on both sides, the vent window, so nobody can break in there. On the older, the bugs flying around, man. On the older cars, like mine, this one works really good. You're not gonna be able to get into it. So it's not such a, a big deal. But on your later models with the bigger round button here, those are pretty easy and they wear out. These ones wear out too, these little triggers. They wear out and people can pop those up and break in no problem. The other thing that you guys wanna make sure of, let's move around to the door. Let's move around out here to the door. <laughs> All right, guys, let's come down to the door over here. So down at your door, the locks on your door, you can get a uh, replacement keys for your door locks. You wanna make sure your door locks are working right because guess what? If they're not working right, they can get in your car. But all this simple stuff are things that you guys can take care of. You wanna make sure that you're doing that because if they can't get into the car, they're gonna have even a more harder time stealing your car. So yeah, it seems a little obvious. The vent window is maybe not so obvious, but your door locks working right, you're gonna wanna make sure of that guys. Number one, we're moving back to the garage. So let's head over there. All right, guys, and here it is. Number one, a big ass square link chain. And what is this chain for, you say? Oh, yeah, and a big old lock. <laughs> With a, you know, just a big muscle lock. And what do you use this for, you say? Well, I'm going to talk to you about that in a second because the garage is just about unbearably hot. So we'll be taking this up to the apartment. All right, guys, it is warm down there. Come upstairs, get a little AC, and talk about the number one thing and what is that chain all about? Well, let's talk about it for a second. So the way that that uh, huge square link chain works is it's actually uh, intended for motorcycles. And what you do is that chain will go through the tire, front or rear, on a motorcycle, and it will anchor down to the, uh, to the ground, to concrete. Actually made for cities because I guess a lot of motorcycles get uh, stolen in cities and the way I've uh, <laughs> the way I've decided to use it is I have an anchor point in my garage downstairs that I use a couple anchor bolts which they're six inch or pretty big that hold down this anchor plate and it's got a little cover that goes over it too and keeps it uh, the chain locked in there so nobody can get into it whenever it is locked around say like wrapped around your beam locked around uh, your uh, swing axle or any other place where you can get that thing in place and moved into position. So it's just an added sense of security, guys. And the whole, this whole spiel and the way that all of this stuff works is that it intended to slow down or deter a criminal, a criminale, or uh, those nefarious fellers or ladies out there trying to take your baby, take your car. All of this stuff that we talked about today all plays together when it comes to keeping your car safe and secure. Now, your locks, uh, uh, disabling your battery. There's also a toggle switch you can put on for your battery that cuts power to your battery. Those are normally pretty easy to find though, but when you do like a, the power or the fuel cutoff, you can put those wherever you want to kind of hide them. Or like I showed you already too with the coil, you can just disconnect the power from the coil and then have a locking uh, lid for your engine. All this stuff is super important, guys. Don't forget, Check out the description below for any of these things if you're interested. And as always, guys, if it is linked to an Amazon uh, link to get you over there, I'm an affiliate. So if you buy it, I get a little kickback. It's super small, like uh, a buck or two. It's small percentage, but it helps out the channel because it gives me the ability to give you stickers <laughs> and or buy new gear. Like you guys see this, my, uh, my new gimbal <laughs> that follows me all around automatically. I have a camera person now. <laughs> so guys, that's it for today. That's all we're going to talk about when it comes to securing your vehicle. I'm sure that you guys have some ideas on how to secure your Volkswagen as well. So don't forget to hit up the comments, guys, with what you do to keep your Volkswagen secure. Now, if you, if you bust out with, like, uh, I got a shotgun. <laughs> That's how I keep it secure. Good, so do I. <laughs> but, guys, all seriousness, uh, all, in all seriousness, uh, it's important that we protect our cars. And you all saw the, my last video where I talked about the tracker, the GPS tracker. That's also a great way to uh, add a little sense of security. But when all else fails, I hope you got really good insurance. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. This is Jason from JW Classic VW, and we're out.